Good morning, guys. This is the R&R, and on today's episode, Pablo and I are going to be talking about a really big issue um, that I know frustrates me, um, is when something happens to someone else, we're not there to lend a hand. But then the next day, when it happens to us, we expect others to lend a hand. I want to start with this one, because I want to share a story with you guys. About three, four weeks ago, I was helping uh, my mom move, and I had a couple of friends that, you know, weren't able to help me move. I recall a couple of weeks ago before that, when somebody needed my help, I was there very quickly and very urgently there to help move. Yet, when I ask and I give different dates and I ask them when they're available, it was a bit hard for them to commit. That's a problem. I lend my assistance and I do it because I feel like I want to help and I should help. Because when somebody that I consider a friend or somebody that I consider a human being that deserves respect and, and, and the help of anybody else, I feel like I have a duty to help. I also feel like I have a duty to help because if I needed help, I'd hope somebody, one of you guys watching, whether you're a stranger or not, might actually stop and help me. I mean, how many times have we been on the highway and we see cars go by, maybe even slow down, causing more traffic behind them, just to take a look at an accident or somebody with a flat tire? Right. Yet so few actually stop to actually help. If you're not interested in helping, why even stop or slow down at all? To sell, I don't know, maybe satisfy a selfish <coughs> need to see something, but not actually take the next step in, I don't know offer your help or assistance to the person that clearly needs it right exactly and and it, we live in this world where we're, we're so selfish and i know for me i've struggled with this just being so self-centered and and always just worrying about yourself and as as canadian citizens we need to start to realize that if we want to change the working world um, and we want to start to improve our lives then we have to start looking out for other people and not just our own backs um, and it's it's the world is so ironic. Um, one person gets fired in a workplace and, and you can't lend a hand, but they want you to. And then the next day, you get fired. But you didn't just help that person the day before, so they're not going to help you. And so it's this cyclical pattern of, of uh, I'm going to look out for me and me only, and I'm not going to help other people who need my help. Um, and in return, you're not going to get any help back. So we need to really start working together and, and actually caring about situations, um, even if they aren't about you. We have to stop expecting that we're going to get a treatment that we ourselves don't provide. Right. I think it'd be a lot easier to find yourself surrounded by a group of, of assistance or support network around you if you lent help to a bunch of people. Chances are that when you need help, they'd probably be there to help you out.